welcome to iSoft. iSoft is Australia's largest IT company that produces software and in doing so is also one of the world's largest um, health information system companies. We have products that run hospitals, we have products that run GP clinics, we have products that run aged care facilities, and we have a whole lot of solutions that actually drive both the creation of what is known as electronic health record, which is obviously important where you're sharing information between hospitals and the community. As we have many of our employees based outside Australia in over 14 countries, and then offices throughout those countries, we have a very diverse group and integration of those people with our uh, business objectives is quite important. So firstly, obviously, we wanted to have an effective way of communicating with our staff, whether through video conferencing, whether through data, whether through voice. And, and working with a partner who understood how to do that was very important, and that's where HP came into the play. Secondly, we obviously wanted to save costs, uh, very expensive to travel, very expensive to um, work together in an integrated basis without good communication systems. And again, uh, the, the basis of putting together the data centre and the integration of the HP systems across the world have really led us to become a more efficient and effective organisation. The infrastructure at the time of the merger was somewhat mixed. Essentially there was two discrete infrastructures from two competitive organisations. And what we set out to achieve was consolidation not only of the networks, but also bringing together the people and making them feel as part of one group. As a consequence of that, we undertook a, almost a three-year program of consolidation. And this brought together the offices, consolidated the server estate, and started to rationalise the business applications that were in use within the new organisation. HP provide our primary server platform for the entire business, including the majority of our development servers for a massive team of developers in India. Our requirements really based around more capacity, whereas before we were operating at absolutely our maximum uh, load. In this particular facility, we have additional capacity to expand the business. That enables us to bring customer solutions in-house ultimately, as well as increase our storage capability for the data that the enlarged group demands. We were able to drive benefits in a very complicated environment, whether it was running our vision centre out of Sydney, whether it's running our networking capability to clients, whether they're in Bangalore or in um, Manchester. We, may, we were able to show that we could have people in Australia who were able to work with those clients or our people wherever they were in the world and without a coordinated and effective um, hardware IT network which HP was integral in helping it provide us we would not be able to do that. With our old infrastructure as it was before HP came along and, and re-engineered it or transformed it um, the gurus within the team, the people that actually shouldn't be doing help desk support, were spending their time fixing some more menial problems within the organisation. What the data centre transformation and the stability and the modernisation programme has actually done is enabled me to release those resources away from this help desk environment and concentrate on more strategic, innovative projects within IT and that progresses into what we're doing over the future months with expanding this as a blueprint into India, into Holland, into the UK and making the, the group have this virtual cloud of infrastructure based on those four regional centres. What we're now doing is expanding across from the platform more into what actually runs on that platform? How can we benefit the individual employees sitting at their desk? So more business aligned functionality for the IT function and making them understand how the business works. We're about to embark on looking at our core business systems for the entire group. That will be an enterprise solution. 
We're looking at rolling out our customer support systems using the infrastructure that we now have in place. We're broadening our telephony based on the design and the blueprint that we have now here in Sydney. And more importantly, we're giving the staff more motivation. They get the feeling that they're actually part of an innovative group. They don't come in and use an old telephone, they don't come in and use an old PC. And Hewlett Packard are helping us with that transformation process. So the intangibles of staff morale, the way they feel about the group, are all being aided by the projects that we undertake together.